All right, so here we have the Intel Core i7 1165G7. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> Anyways, it is paired with 16 gigs of RAM, running at 4,267 mega transfers per second. It's technically supposed to be around 36 to 3,700 because Dell likes to cripple the uh, RAM speed if you don't pay extra for the 32 gig model. But well, somehow, some way, mine has not been crippled to about half speed. It's still at full speed. I'm not going to complain. And with it, we have the Intel Iris Xe graphics, as you can see here in GPU Z. Some stuff there. And then we have more info right here on hardware info on both the CPU, GPU, and the actual RAM here. Uh, this says quad channel, but uh, this CPU only supports dual channel, I believe. So not entirely sure where it's getting quad channel from don't know <laughs> um so yeah not really anything to write home about his, his processor is is pretty good i mean it's only a quad core i7 which is a bit weird because last i checked i7s are not quad cores unless you're talking you know fourth generation but whatever besides the point in this episode i'm going to be running some games and all that stuff and before I do that, one last thing is I'm using a program called Throttle Stop to bypass the stupid long-term power limit of 14 watts that Dell implements onto the Latitude 7420, which is the current test device. So as you can see here, we are running a long-term power limit of 28 watts, which is right here. A lot better than 14. It almost doubled the frame rate in some games. I did do some testing off camera. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, let's, get, let's get started, shall we? Okay, I want to apologize in advance if you can hear the fan noise from this laptop because this thing is an absolute jet when it's on ultra performance mode and the Dell power manager. Uh, so it's basically running the fan at full speed. So I, you know, I want to apologize if you can hear the jet in the background. That's, that's this computer. <laughs> As you can see, we are pulling pretty respectable 28 to 30 watts, which is a huge improvement over the basic 14 watt long term power limit. Um, actually, let me. There we go. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, BMG Drive, this is West Coast USA, which is a relatively intensive map compared to, say, East Coast or. Actually, no, they're. Eh, actually, they're probably about equal because the East Coast has a lot more uh, vegetation than this map, which is also pretty intensive. In general, but um, this this uh, map has a lot of buildings, and it's it's just a pretty big map in general. So as you can see, it's perfectly playable. Um, before going any further, let me go ahead and show you the settings real quick. Uh, lowest, <laughs> of course. Uh, this, we're still dealing with integrated graphics after all. It's not a it's not a powerhouse of a computer. It's not made for gaming, but you know me. Um, well, maybe you don't know me, but I like to push things to the limit. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> um, so overall, I mean, for a $200 laptop with integrated graphics, this thing's not bad so far. Um, so yeah, Beam and G Drive is running perfectly fine. Uh, one thing I will say before we go on to the next game, I will say... Um, if you do a lot of traffic, then you'll probably struggle because then you'll start to see a CPU and probably RAM bottleneck. But uh, with one vehicle, we're getting 60 frames a second pretty much all the time, if not better. In some areas, we're hitting 80 plus. So for integrated graphics in a pretty thin office laptop, not too bad, I will say. Let's move on to the next game. All right, next up, we have SCP Secret Lab. Um, we're running at 1440 by 900 p we are running everything on the lowest settings besides ragdoll freezing, which is a CPU bound feature, but the CPU is relatively powerful, so I'm not worried about it. And then facility lighting is enabled. That is another relatively intense setting, but if you don't have that enabled, the entire facility will be really dark and extremely hard to play. So if you ever play this game on a low end computer, I recommend leaving facility lighting on or don't play the game at all because if you have that off, it's extremely hard to see. So with that being said, Let's get started. All right, so as we wait to load in here, um, I will say 
if you've never played this game, it is actually pretty darn fun, I will say. If you've ever played SCP Containment Breach, it's basically that, but multiplayer. And not as in-depth, obviously, but overall, it's a really fun game. Uh, oh, got facility guard. Cool. Uh, as you can see here, we are actually technically CPU-bound here, possibly. Uh, we're either CPU-bound or memory uh, bandwidth-bound, which does happen a lot with iGPUs running with integrated memory. Um, yeah. So there is that, but overall we're getting sub 40s and even 50s frames, but as you can see, the graphics aren't amazing, but considering this is integrated graphics, it's pretty darn impressive for this game, and um, how I used to play this back in the day, I was actually used to play this on an Intel Core i3 5th gen I want to say, with integrated Intel HD 5500 graphics, and they were trash. Like, this game with no facility lighting, still barely hitting, <laughs> like, barely hitting 20 frames. So, I will say, integrated graphics have come a very, very long way in terms of just how they work and how they run, you know? Um, you know, that and then optimization is a wonderful thing, which this game has decent optimization, so... Yeah, as you can see, it's running fine. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just looking at that waterfall, because that waterfall is relatively intensive. Dropped to about 40 frames, I think it was, but, yeah. I mean, it, it's running perfectly fine. Let me try shooting a little bit. Some smoke effects. Some muzzle flash. I mean, it's really not affecting it at all, so... Yeah, I mean, it's running SCP Secret Lab perfectly fine. So, yeah, I mean, with that being said, I guess let's go to the next game, because uh, I'm actually surprised how well this is handling these games, if I'm being honest, for integrated graphics. I'm surprised. So, yeah, that being said, I guess let's move on. All right, so next up we have GTA 5 running at 720p, using mostly low, a couple high settings here and there. Uh, mostly doing that just so it's a constant 60 frames a second. Um, as you will see here in a second, I can definitely turn the graphics and resolution up probably to all high, maybe even 1080p. But um, I just want to be able to hold said 60 frames a second. So it's just a constant, nice, smooth experience, you know. Um, so as you can see, GPU is not maxed out, CPU is not maxed out, and neither is the RAM. Great to see all of those not maxed out that are capped 60 frames a second um, now on your screen if you're watching on a bigger TV or a bigger monitor um, this game probably won't look amazing because it's only 720p running up to you lower settings but on this 14 inch laptop screen it looks perfectly fine it's perfectly playable looks surprisingly good um, so yeah as you can see GTA 5 is running really well. I mean, it, it better run really well. This is an Intel Core i7 after all, and this is a <laughs> decade-old game at this point. It came out in 2015 on PC, and it's now 2025, so it's, well, not quite a decade, but pretty close to a decade old. And if you count the release on console, it's over a decade old, so it damn well better run good, and it sure does. Um, so yeah, let me uh, get out here. Let me maybe cause a couple explosions and see if uh, I don't have any grenades okay not doing that I can't cause an explosion explosion well <laughs> let's just try shooting some random things you know making some smoke some all that um, you know smoke muzzle flash all that just effects on the ground still holding 60 GPU doesn't care CPU doesn't care um, yeah GTA runs runs perfectly fine if you want to play GTA it'll be perfectly fine um, I did try all the games on this video I did try it with the stock 14 watt TDP long term limit it does run all these games but at about three quarters to half the frame rate so GTA runs up between 40 and 60 frames depending on what you're doing with the 14 watt limit but as you can see here it's not dropping from 60 at all uh, SCP Secret Lab jumped about 10 20 frames because it was running at about 30 ish 30 to 40 and now we're getting 40 to 50 in SCP Secret Lab with the uh, With the TDP turned up and BMG Drive also saw an increase from about 30 to about 
40 on some maps and on west coast usa the map i did before it went from about 40 to 50 to over 60 at times so upping the tdp is a must if you have one of these laptops and you plan on gaming with it just do be aware it will drain your battery so i recommend doing it when it's plugged in only so with my yapping out of the way let's let's try one or two more games shall we all right, so here we have CS2 running with the lowest settings, as you can see here. Um, thank you. I don't know why I just scrolled up by itself. Uh, anyways, we're running Fidelity FX Super Resolution, so it's FSR, I believe. Uh, performance mode, everything else is on performance or low or disabled or the lowest it goes. Um, so yeah, we're also running it at 720p. I'm hoping this can get 60 plus frames, but I have my doubts with CS2 and its uh, ability to run on lower end systems these days. So I'll be right back once we find a game. All right, so here we are in a game of CS2. As you can see, it's uh, mm, a little bit stuttery. I think that could be down to VRAM because it's using system RAM as VRAM because there's no integrated VRAM on a GPU. Um, Unfortunately, we are still not seeing over 60 frames a second all the time. We are dropping into the 50s at times. Um, Honda was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be at least 60 frames with everything on low and uh, Fidelity FX or FSR to be on performance. I really was not expecting, uh, honestly, poor performance like this. I mean, for the most part, it's getting 60 FPS or more now that, now that it's loaded in. Um, yeah, not a huge fan of CS2 when it comes to how they kind of broke it with it not being able, able to run on lower end systems anymore. I mean, CSGO used to run on like anything, but uh, ever since CS2, it's a lot more intensive. I mean, like a lot more intensive. So, I mean, hey, if you saw my video I did not too long ago of the N97 mini PC, I mean, it's running better than that. It's not stuttering every two seconds. It's not, uh, it's not freezing. It's not lagging too bad. And it's not 480p. It's 720p. So it's got that going for it. It's better than an N97 at least. Um, I'm fairly confident at this uh, frame rate we are probably GPU bound. Um, I guarantee that i7 has a lot more to give, but the bottleneck is the iGPU, as it is in most games, for the most part. Um, I bet you weren't expecting to see this game running on a integrated graphics, were you? <laughs> Alright, so here we have, believe it or not, Cyberpunk 2077. Wow, this is uh, not what I was expecting to see. We are running uh, Intel XE Super Sampling at Performance. Everything else is as low as it'll go. Like, literally the lowest. Actually, let's turn that off. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we'll turn it off anyway. Uh, this medium is as low as it goes. I mean, everything everything else is on as low as it can go. Um, I mean, 30 frames on Intel integrated GPU? You know, it, it could be so much worse. I mean, is it holding 30? Not really. Is the game running on Intel integrated graphics? Yes. Is that very surprising? Also yes. I mean, wow. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm pretty, pretty surprised by this. I mean, Cyberbug, I'm uh, sorry, Cyberpunk running on Intel Iris XE graphics. Integrated GPU. Damn, it's actually kind of amazing. Uh, just for giggles and shits, let's uh, let's experiment with the super sampling. This is the last game I'll be playing on the uh, on, on the day, I guess you could say. Um, let's go ahead and try FSR three. I just clicked past it three times. Let's go ahead and do. You know, what? let's do dynamic resolution scale. Let's see what kind of frames we can get. I mean, let's just see. What kind of frames can we get? Okay, <laughs> it's not any different. All right, still at about 30. Um, 
intriguing. Uh, as you can see, we are definitely maxing out the RAM, which is definitely not helping much. We are probably hitting that page file. Um, yeah, just, you know, it's just a thing. Uh, FSR, as you can see, is not running much different from the Intel upscaling here. Uh, just for shits and giggles, um, let's, uh, let's drop it to native, I believe, 1080p. Um, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, native 1080p. Let's see. Let's see what it can do. Okay, native 1080p. It's almost a cinematic experience. Almost 24 frames, but damn, does it look pretty good even on the lowest settings. And damn, am I really surprised it's running this well on integrated graphics. Um. Yeah. I am really amazed at uh. $200 office computer running cyberpunk um, is it playable debatable depends who you talk to um, let's go ahead and put that back on let's go ahead and leave that I'm gonna try frame gen I'm gonna restart the game and actually not no I'm not gonna try frame gen because that's it's kind of cheating um, cause it's fake frames kind of you know um, so yeah this is my last game I'm going to be trying for this laptop. If you like this video, if you are impressed by this little thing, go ahead and drop a like, and drop a subscribe, and drop a comment. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still amazed it's running this well on integrated graphics. Like, wow, it's, uh, it really does show how far even Intel has come with integrated graphics, because, uh, when this game came out, I will bet money, uh, no Intel integrated GPU, no matter how high-end the iGPU is, no matter what CPU it was from Intel, this game was not going to run on it at 30 some odd frames, which granted lowest settings and upscaling, but it's cyberpunk on integrated graphics. Like, <laughs> you know, like... I don't know, I'm just gonna shut the hell up and I'm gonna end the video because this video is probably about 20 30 minutes Maybe not 30 minutes, but it's getting up there in a Pretty lengthy video. So that being said, I uh, hope you liked the video if you did drop a comment So a uh, like and most importantly subscribe and share the video. I need to get them subs up Oh with that being said Goodbye. Hope to see you in another video